something that's surging the media right now. People wondering, worrying, and curious, is this going to be the next pandemic? I'm seeing it everywhere. So let's dig up some current news, updates, and information you guys should know about. Just four hours ago, reported from Reuters, Impox surge in Central Africa exposed the most vulnerable. And get this, Impox surge raises even more fear of spreading before patients even show symptoms coming from Bloomberg. We're seeing the rise in Congo as hospitals are overwhelmed. And you dig a little deeper, this is from medicalexpress.com, who the WHO seeks Impox vaccine production surge. What does that tell us? We've got a lot of media platforms already talking about the big question. Are we about to experience additional lockdowns? Well, according to experts in India, they are already preparing airports and ports of entry to be prepared for lockdowns, to quarantine anybody, and I mean anybody, that looks like they have Mpox. Just look at this. It's the big question in the room. Is this gonna turn into a big thing? We've got a lot more important information regarding this coming right up. My name is Cohen here at Riverside Homestead. And if you're brand new here, welcome. If you guys are into prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and most of all, news and awareness, stuff that you wanna know about, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. Like I said, guys, right here is a monkeypox outbreak map of the USA. As you can see, the dark areas are over a thousand cases. So this kind of gives you an idea if you're in an area of greater concern. Now we've talked about it before and I don't like diving into this type of stuff because it might just be rumors. But when I see stuff popping up like this, coming from the medicalexpress.com, the WHO seeks Impox vaccine production search. Typically and historically, when we see something like that, I would put money on that it is about to get worse. It says the World Health Organization on Friday urged manufacturers to ramp up production of Impox vaccines to rein in the spread of more dangerous strain of the virus. As some of you know, on Wednesday, the WHO declared the Impox surge a public health emergency of international concern, its highest alert ever, with cases soaring in the Congo and spreading beyond its borders. Now they say we do need the manufacturers to really scale up so that we've got access to many, many more vaccines, whose spokeswoman Margaret Harris told reporters. Now, if you're anything like me, I take that as kind of like a flashing light that this could turn into something. And get this, Harris said there were 500,000 MVA-BN doses in stock, while an additional 2.4 million doses could be produced quickly. Also saying an, an additional 10 million doses could be produced upon firm procurement request. Validating, in case you guys missed it, right here on the WHO website, the WHO Director General declares Mpox outbreak a public health emergency of international concern. A lot of us asking the question, could this be another lockdown scenario? Well, according to experts in India, they are already preparing airports and ports of entry to be prepared for lockdowns, to quarantine anybody and I mean anybody that looks like they have Mpox. Just look at this. While the WHO has not advised lockdowns or shelter in place type of scenario, it doesn't mean certain areas, countries, states can't impose emergency declarations. For example, on the rise, Mpox cases on the rise in South Florida, how the newest variant differs from the one in 2022. Big, big buzz with the Mpox. People asking, is it the next pandemic? Tell you what, time will tell. Now, let me add, there is a buzz, a rumor out there of this Mpox just being phase one of a much bigger plan. Now, like I said, this goes down the tinfoil hat trail, but the buzz and the rumor is that you may see on different social media platforms is that someone from B and G, foundation a whistleblower they state that this is a hundred percent bioweapon 
status. And that Billy G's got a different strain, dropping it from airplanes over major cities. And they're saying that the vaccine has strains of some sort of HIV in it, a way to eradicate and cleanse the world. Now, like I said, validating that stuff is incredibly hard, but it's definitely a rabbit trail if you guys wanna do your own research on that. The other big buzz is there's rumors again about this stuff being able to spread without any signs or symptoms. So according to the CDC, they say that there is no evidence that people who never have symptoms of mpox can spread the virus to others. However, some case reports from Europe suggest that some monkeypox infections may be asymptomatic. Also noting that some people may spread mpox to others from one to four days before they have symptoms. The big concern to me, whether this is bad in India, bad in the Congo, Africa, or wherever else, we are in the United States, which is a travel corridor internationally. And with what some would say over 50 million have come across the border through our really secure border system, America could be most at risk with millions of people traveling through the United States from other countries every single day. So could this turn into something? very well could be. I'd definitely stay on your toes. Make sure you're aware of what's going on. So as always, keeping you guys up to date. I do see a level of concern on this turning into something, possibly, especially with the upcoming event we got coming. So stay on your toes. Got a lot more information coming down the pipe. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you on the next one.